I'm Irma Snoopachito. Welcome to the set of The Challenger Season 2. We're right on my favorite set. This is the cellar location. The Challenger is now um, a vigilante in LA, a well-renowned vigilante, seen as an urban outlaw at the beginning. He's just dealing with crime his own way. However, um, a threat from his past comes back to haunt him, aka Lucas Wolf. And the whole theme of The Challenger 4 is literally getting over your past, trying to defeat those ghosts and stuff that that are literally um, holding him back. And so until the challenger gets over the death of his girlfriend Brooklyn and the death of his father, he cannot defeat Lucas Wolf. So we're on set with Captain Mora. So Mike, what do you think of your part? Let me see. What are you from here? Yeah, what do you think of your part? You're playing Captain Mora. Oh, it's a beautiful part. Do you like him? I love it. <laughs> so what do you what do you think of him? You think he's a, a nice guy, a bad guy? Who? who? Captain Mora. Oh, Captain Mora. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you doing that? Yes, right. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Mora is the best. <laughs> <laughs> he's good, Captain Mora. <laughs> Something you actually won't see in the Challenger 4. <laughs> it's the Richie layer. Remember these things? Challenger was hungry for us. So, as Gunnarsson, what's his type of journey in Challenger 4? Well, I don't want to spoil anything for the future, but he doesn't, doesn't, um, he's not really happy with his job. He's trying to redeem himself or something. Is he? What's your goal for Gunnarsson in the Challenger 4 and 5? That now that you're changing him up a little bit, as far as we know. I have to make him goofy. Well, we have another film, Born to Kill. And oh, what's that? That sounds juicy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say what it is, but... Well, why but, not? The audience wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> but Aramis is starring in it. Is he? Yes, he is. Oh. And you're Aramis. He sounds like an interesting guy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll recognize characters. Okay. You've seen them before. Okay, that's good to know. The Haunting Past is a huge theme of that film. The Challenger 5 is the sequel, and in which case we were building up in the Challenger 4 this idea of this alliance, and the whole thing of the Challenger 5 are deadly alliances. So that's going to be the Challenger up against this literally megalithic force of the Dark Triad, headed by the Machiavellian Ricci, the leader, followed by Walker, the narcissist, and Wolf, the psychopath. It's like this immense force of, of deadly enemy action that the challenger is going to have to face and going in he feels already that he's probably not going to make it. The way I'm playing it is that he knows he's not going to make it. She's uh, playing Detective Savannah today. So Kendall, what do you think of Detective Savannah? I love her. <laughs> She's cool? Yeah, she's definitely going to be back, I think if, you know, if, if um, time schedules work, then she'll definitely be back. Because we have nothing, as long as she, Kendall's free, she'll be back in the summer. So it all depends on that. But yeah. She's doing a scene with Captain Moore, everybody knows him. Well, most people do. <laughs> yeah, he opened his Lamborghini. So are you taking any inspiration from anybody, or are you just going to go completely original? Original? Yeah. That's more exciting. Okay, now we're talking. Alright. So, Mr. DePardo, what's your approach to playing Provenzano? Much more what? Your approach to playing Provenzano. Uh, I think it's uh, realistically more about who I am as a person. I think I am Mr. Provenzano. I think I play it really well and, um, uh, you know, being Italian background I've been exposed to many uh, situations so it's pretty easy to actually fill in that uh, role as a Mr. Um, will you be coming back in any films? Uh, yeah of course I'll be coming back. Uh, depends who I gotta kill and uh, you know. If you uh, had to kill anybody who would it be? Well that'll be a secret. You know <laughs> if there's uh, uh, if I would tell you who I you know dislike in, as a character in a movie or in the, um, I, it wouldn't be much of a, you know, a suspense thriller, right? 
I mean, there's just got that. Through, right? Yeah, some of it. Drama, oh, suspense, yeah. action. Yeah. All that stuff. He's got it. Um, who out of all the Challenger villains is your favorite? Walker. Walker, Walker, yeah, sorry, I'm not that great in remembering. Uh, you know, I do a lot of movies, right? So, uh, yeah, I, 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 kind of, I like his approach, you know, he comes into the film very entertaining. Hmm. And um, for Man of War 2, there's been rumors that you're going to be returning as Derek. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Uh, well, yeah, I'm looking uh, into uh, reading some more scripts about that, and uh, if I like it, I take it. If not, uh, uh, I'm going to turn it down. Okay, so today we're on set with Ricci, played by Dino Mazza. So, Dino, um, are you enjoying playing Ricci? Can't you tell by my lovely outfit? <laughs> yes, yeah, so what do you find interesting about his character? <laughs> if, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this interview is working. <laughs> So we're catching up with uh, Chica Mafian on the set of the Challenger 4. So Chica, you're back at playing Walker? Yeah. So um, what do you think of that? Oh, it's awesome. Like, it, the words can't describe <laughs> playing Walker. It's, uh, it's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing character. I, I, can't, uh, I can't wait to show you what I'm going to do with that character. I have a lot of ideas in my mind. Cool, and uh, so how do you play Walker? What's your approach to this character? Uh, do you really want to know that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of planning that goes in to Walker. Um, you know, you want to make him realistic. Uh, you, want to, you want the audience to connect with the character. So I do a lot of homework and thinking about what I want to add to it. That's all you can know for now. Just watch out for the next uh, episode. All you right. don't want to miss that. Alright, sounds good. I play Detective Rootsledge, aka The Challenger. He's the vigilante in LA at this moment, and he's dealing with crime his way. A detective by day who's on whose uh, sole purpose is to catch the challenger, and by night he plays, he is the challenger. So he's trying, he has this duality there. As a thug, you're either gonna go to jail, and if not, you're dead. Very simple, and part of me feels like he knows he most likely will die. For the Challenger 4, you really see the duality play out in the challenger's character. You see that half, for half the film, he was a detective, the other half he was a challenger, and you have to see that he not only is a detective on the challenger case trying to track him, He's got to try to make people, uh, or make the other detectives and the cap and Captain Moore especially believe that he's actually hunting the Challenger, uh, but he just can't catch him. So he's he's trying to literally he's trying to catch himself, but he's trying to make sure that nobody knows uh, or finds out his true identity. The Challenger Five, the Challenger is already going into it, knowing that there's a dark triad, there's this megalithic, almost impossible, deadly force, and this old war dog is probably going to die. He knows he's going to be death in the Challenger 5. It's just a matter of how the hell are they going to kill him. Let's get this over with. It's good. He okay. channels my inner anger. Ah. Instead of <laughs> punching shit outside, I just play Lucas Wolf. I feel really good. Especially the fight scenes where I kick the Challenger's ass. Ah. Ah! Yes. What inspirations do you have for playing the role? Um, Angry Hitman. Angry Hitman, eh? Yeah, especially when I have my beard on. Those, like, British films. Oh, like, like uh, a snatch. Like rock, rock and roll? roll. <laughs> Smoking Barrel or Rock and Roll. Yeah, British angry guy who plays a hitman except I don't have a British accent. What can you tell us about uh, Challenger 5? It's going to be awesome. The <laughs> best one of the series. Uh -huh. yeah. We're Way more fight scenes. Cooler setting, it's just way better than number four, and I fucking love number four. <laughs> that was a huge improvement of all of them. So, how do you feel being back on set? I feel good. Who are you hunting today? Today it's Ricci, Walker, and Wolf. They're a bunch of thugs that have been living for too long. 
What about the lawman? He's a hippie. I don't <laughs> like him one bit. Look at that. Look at that nice reflection. Hey, don't look at my car. Keep your eyes to yourself. Hopefully you caught the Challenger 4. The Challenger 4 was released June 6, 2014. It was the most fantastic Challenger film we ever made. We finally, in my opinion, got the Challenger right. This is just the beginning. The Challenger 5, which is a far better film, is coming out September 6, 2014. It's amazing. It's going to knock your socks off. Check that out quickly. Um, December 6, on my birthday, we're going to be releasing a new film called Born to Kill. It's going to be the first film in a trilogy. And it's, you're going to have some old faces you've seen before, and you're going to have a lot of new faces in these films. These films are going to be the most fantastic films you're ever going to see. There's three, it's a three-parter, and it's, uh, and they all have to do with living and death, and, and, uh, yeah, so just keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm Eric Zupacito. Thanks for watching. It was a blast.